Today I'm going to try to show um, the difference between um, the main system administration tool top, a top, h top, io top, if top, and glances. The first thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find a way to stress the CPU and I'm trying to find a way to stress some IO so this way we can see how useful these tools are. So the first thing I'm I'm going to do is I'm going to find a, the best way to stress uh, CPU. So I found this tool called Stress. So I'm going to install it on the system. And I'm going to launch it to stress one core of the CPU. This CPU has four cores, so it'll be interesting to see how the different tool manage this kind of formation this information. So now I'm going to find a way to stress some IO. So I'm using stress in this tab to stress one core of the CPU and I'm going to download a big file in this one to stress some IO. Probably it won't be too fast. Anyway, so the first tool we're going to review is obviously top. So top is pretty simple and come with every distribution. It's pretty easy to understand. You have like CPU, memory, CPU time, and it shows directly that stress is using 100% of one CPU, so it's exactly what we want. And there's some stress made by curl that is downloading a file. Second tool we're going to review is a top so we're going to install it first now we're going to launch it so a top is a lot more complex and have a lot more of information and as you can see it's more difficult to pass all the information but we do have the same information we have in top previously that top um, was showing us that stress was stressing uh, one core of the CPU on also some stress from curl that is downloading a file still. Um, we have also the memory statistics that is there, the swap statistics, the disk statistic, and the internet uh, connection statistic. So the cool thing is it's showing us that one CPU is working really hard, like 100% usage, exactly like what it was showing top. But on top of that, we have the frequency that is running. 3.1 gigahertz and when the three other core are running at 2. Point something 1.61 1.8 and this is interesting information compared to top this is more complex uh, complex so it might not work the extra install but it's a cool tool. The other tool we're going to review is HTOP. So we're going to install it. So we're going to launch it. HTOP is very similar to TOP, but has a bit more information and has a bit more color as well. Uh, one of the nice things it displays very clearly is that one core is used 100% one while um, those are three cores are not used at all and it shows us exactly like top before that stress is using one core at 100% of CPU and curl is still downloading the file. The cool thing is we have parameter of the tool so it's a bit more verbose than the default output of um, top plus in top of that we have some color um, to have 
a quick parse of what is happening on the on the system. Uh, next up is IOTOP. So this tool focuses only on IO. So we show us more information if the curl thing that just ends. So I'm going to launch the curl thing. And so IOTOP is the source, so let's check it out. So same things, but this time the stress tool doesn't show up on it's what we are expecting because there's almost no IO for the stress thing. But the curl uh, command line is showing up uh, on top with a lot of this right because it's downloading from the internet. So exactly what we want. It's a really cool tool to sort processes by IO. Next up is if top. So we're going to install it. So if top focus on the internet connection and you can see a live uh, stream of what is happening. So we're downloading an image from Canonical uh, is what Curl is doing and this user connection should be like the hosting company doing regular checks. So this output is nice showing us like how many data is exchanged and everything else. Very last, we're going to check Lens, that is a more complete tool to check on one system based on Python. So glances um, show us similar information than the other one. I'm going to launch the process of downloading the image that is stopped. Um, so same thing, we can we can see that um, stress is still stressing one core of our CPU pretty hard and is curl is doing a lot of work as well in terms of IO and a little bit of work in terms of CPU. This is interesting for core. So as the first one that is showing us a true utilization of the CPU 25% in lieu of 100% um, of 400%. So it's a bit of an interesting twist to quickly pass information on the system. So that's it guys. Uh, I hope it's been full for you guys.